Squid versus Octopus Who is the most powerful and can win a fight? You certainly already know that octopuses and squids are two distinct species, but how much information could you actually impart if one grabbed you and wouldn't let go until you could identify every distinction? They both have many arms and are bony sea creatures after all. Not to mention the question of what constitutes an arm and what constitutes a tentacle. There are a number of significant variances. The longest gigantic squid ever documented by scientists was about 43 feet 13 meters in length. You'd think such a massive animal wouldn't be difficult to overlook. However, because the ocean is wide and gigantic squid reside deep beneath the surface, they remain elusive and rarely seen. Much of what we know comes from dead carcasses that drifted to the surface and were discovered by fishermen. Giant Pacific octopuses are cephalopods and are related to squid and cuttlefish. The name cephalopod comes from the fact that their arms are connected directly to their heads. Contrary to popular belief, octopuses' eight appendages are called arms, not tentacles. The giant Pacific octopus is the largest and longest living of all octopus species. Size and Appearance Giant squids are fascinating organisms recognized for their large size and distinct anatomical characteristics. Giant squids are among the largest organisms in the water, with some reaching lengths of 43 feet, 13 meters, and weighing more than 600 pounds, 272 kilograms. A gigantic squid's mantle or body can be up to 7 feet, 2.1 meters long, while its eight arms and two longer tentacles can be up to 33 feet, 10 meters long. Giant squids, despite their enormous size, are elusive organisms that reside at tremendous depths, making them difficult to study and observe in their native habitat. Giant squids have a distinctive coloring that allows them to blend in with their surroundings in the deep sea. Their bodies are typically reddish-brown in color with lightish pinkish arms and tentacles. The large eyes of giant squids, which may measure up to 10 inches 25 centimeters in diameter, are one of its most distinctive morphological characteristics. The typical gigantic octopus is the largest species of octopus in the world, growing to a length of roughly 16 feet 4.87 meters from the top of its body to the tip of its arms and weighing between 70 and 110 pounds, 31 to 50 kilograms. Despite being big animals, octopuses can fit their bodies through any hole bigger than their beaks. In general, female gigantic Pacific octopuses are bigger than males. The amount of light, nutrients, and temperature in their environments all affect how big they can go. The huge bulbous heads and a mantle of the big Pacific octopus are usually a reddish-brown tint. There are two rows of suckers on each of the octopus's eight arms. The mantle houses the octopus's organs, including the kidneys, liver, stomach, gills, reproductive organs, intestine, and brain. Because they are mollusks and lack an outer shell, Octopuses can hide by using their natural ability to camouflage. It kills prey with its keratin beak, which it uses to tear it into pieces before swallowing. It secretes blank ink when threatened. Range and Habitat Giant squid are found throughout the North Atlantic Ocean, particularly near Newfoundland, Norway, the Northern British Isles and the Oceanic Islands of the Azores, and Madeira to the South Atlantic in Southern African waters. The North Pacific around Japan and the Southwestern Pacific around New Zealand and Australia. In the Southern Ocean, they are circumglobal. Specimens are uncommon in tropical and polar regions. Giant squids are commonly found between 656 to 3280 feet, 200 and 1000 meter deep 
in the mesopelagic and bathopelagic zones. They have, however, been discovered at depths of up to 7,381 feet, 2,250 meters. The giant Pacific octopus lives throughout the Pacific Ocean. These aquatic animals live off the coasts of Alaska, Washington, Oregon, California, British Columbia, Korea, Japan, and Russia. It can migrate from the surface to a depth of 6,600 feet, 2,000 meters when necessary, and thrives in cold, oxygenated water. They can be discovered at depths of up to 300 feet, 91 meters in rocky coastal locations. They are typically found in tide pools and cracks and flourish in cold, nutrient-rich environments. They can be found living in caves, under boulders, or in cracks in the rock. Food Habits they have eight arms and two larger feeding tentacles, like other squid species, to help them bring food to their beak-like mouths. Their diet is most likely made up of fish, shrimp, and other squid, and some believe they may even assault and consume small whales. A predator that consumes a wide range of foods, including clams, crabs, fish, tiny sharks, seabirds, and other octopuses is the huge Pacific octopus. They mainly hunt at night, entangling their prey with their tentacles and suckers. They appear to eat any animal that falls within their size range and utilize their razor-sharp beaks to shred and penetrate flesh. The octopus discards its prey shell after devouring it by stacking it outside of its habitat. The collection of shells is described as an octopus's garden. Behavior Despite being one of the two largest extant invertebrate species and a source of fascination for humans for ages, little is known about the species. This is due to their apparent affinity for living in extremely deep ocean habitats. Sperm whales are the only known predators of adults of the species, aside from other giant squids. While hunting squid, these predatory whales will dive hundreds of feet below the surface. Although it has not been proved, there is evidence that pilot whales consume the giant cephalopod. Other huge animals, such as deep-sea sharks and other predators of the deep, will prey on juvenile giant squid. Sharks, sperm whales, sea otters, and harbor seals all eat young and adult big Pacific octopuses. Undoubtedly, the biggest predator of the enormous Pacific octopus is man. These animals have been hunted by humans for food and as Pacific halibut bait. Adult gigantic Pacific octopuses can, however, blend in with their surroundings, hide in protected dens, or blend in with the kelp to evade predators. Due to their jet propulsion capabilities, they may quickly flee while hiding from predators in a cloud of black ink. As a defense against predators, they also utilize their arms. Now let's find out who would win a fight, a giant squid or a giant Pacific octopus. It is difficult to say which would win in a battle between a giant squid and a giant octopus, as both are formidable creatures with unique strengths and abilities. Both giant squids and giant octopuses are large, intelligent, and highly adaptable creatures that can be found in the deep ocean. Giant squids are known for their large size, powerful tentacles, and sharp beaks, while giant octopuses are known for their intelligence, camouflage abilities, and ability to escape from predators. The gigantic squid is substantially larger in terms of size. The gigantic squid wins on average to average bulk and size. Also, no disrespect to the octopus, but the squid is simply a more vicious hunter. Octopedes are good predators who may catch you off guard, but they are not violent attack swimmers. They are not intended for full-fledged brawling. The fight goes to the giant squid. Most people, however, are unaware of how aggressive and unpleasant squid can be. When hunting, the sperm whale is one of the few species that recognize gigantic squid 
as a normal meal item. In comparison to the octopus, giant squid have massive snapping beaks that can punch huge holes in their prey, and they are rather swift and nimble underwater. The fact that the enormous octopus would hunt sharks on a regular basis amazed me. Simply hide among the rocks, wait for it to swim by, then catch it and drag it backwards, flipping it upside down and drowning it. However, as I said above, do I think the squid would win this fight? What is your opinion?